nigga still rapping. I'm done playing. I'm about to pack these niggas up. Then go home and fill up my cup. Yeah. Good, y'all. Your boy Jadis by here with another reaction video. This time by JP Talk to one. It's gonna be disrespectful art of reverse jumping. If you know what that is, that when someone attempts to jump someone and still manage to get their ass whooped. All right, beat down, slaughtered by one damn person. All right, I'm gonna start talking about it. We're gonna go straight into the video. I hope the video is hilarious. Hope you enjoy. Let's go ahead and get into it. Hey, where y'all this come from? Hey, bro, you're the eight tails Jinchuriki, right? Hey, yo, what the? Hey, where y'all this come from? Hey, bro, you're the eight tails Jinchuriki, right? It's Lord Eight Tails Jinchuriki. Whatever, nigga, we can here to pack you up. Almost made some scale pack smoke. Yeah, Tim Tucker is ass. Yeah, hey, killer be that nigga. So I talked about jumping in Jujutsu Kaisen and how they revolutionized the idea instead of having the background standing there watching, you know, they all jump the, the, the villain. But I haven't spoken about the opposite of that. When a couple of characters go to jump somebody and fail miserably. Today we're going to be looking at some fights and how to not jump somebody. And the first fight we're going to be looking at is Killer B bodies team time. Alright, so first of all, Killer B was coming out of his house speeding bars. Killer B, I know I'm the shit. Hey. Might pull up and fuck on your bitch. Hey. I'm getting to the money. I'm ready. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Hey, where y'all niggas come from? Hey, bro, you're the Eight Tails Jinchuriki, right? Nigga, it's Lord Eight Tails Lord Jinchuriki. Lord you Eight -tails. whatever, nigga. We can here to pack you up. Jugo, take the left. Karin, <laughs> get behind me. So he gets who launches the first attack and created a big ass dust cloud. Up. Everybody waiting to see what happened. And this nigga Killer B blocked it. He flips the sword, put it's it on his neck, right? Started styling on them while rapping. Bro, this nigga killing me is something else, bro. Jugo starts attacking him, and then we flip to Sasuke. Sasuke standing there like, hey, yo, is this nigga really rapping while he fighting us? And we flip back to the fight, and he got Jugo like this. That nigga was doing the stinky legs. Had his ass twitching, bro. And he was still rapping. Damn, you niggas an ass. Pull up over here, try to jump, and I'm about to make all you niggas eat the grass. Karin is still flabbergasted that this nigga spitting such fire. And so he guess who's just jealous that he ain't got no bars. Why no they standing bars. there staring at him? He tosses Jugo's body at him. And Sasuke ass thinking he the shit. He's like, all right, whatever, I'll go. And Killer B's like, hey, who the fuck are you? And Sasuke's like, bro, we don't owe you an explanation, bro. We just came here to make you a pack. And Sweet gets who's still in the back hating because he can't spit no bars. So they start the fight, and both of them turn into Beyblades for some reason. Sasuke Yo, bro, stops the sword swing and like kicks crazy. this nigga in the face. Killer B stops for a second and pulls out his notepad. Mind you, this nigga didn't even acknowledge- Yo, you know how different spell for it gotta be? You kick someone in the throat and that motherfucker's like, bar down real quick, yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that he got kicked in the face And here we go Bags, bags, bags I walk in the store Little bitch, I'm not looking at tags I got that drip and you niggas got rags Okay, yeah, yo, that shit fine Sasuke standing there flabbergasted yo, the Like, did this nigga just stop mid-fight And pull out a notebook to write bars? And so he gets, bars, gets even more yeah. challenged That he can't spit no bars And then B pulls out his seven sword style And yo, he yo, like, I'm watch out little nigga right I'm about here. to style on you He turns into a Beyblade Again for some reason And starts piecing Sasuke's yo, shit up He had that nigga on the run, bro He was on the road there was nothing he could do. And then Sasuke got packed. And Sasuke was like, oh, I'm tired of this shit, bro. And he starts using a Chidori. He charges at B. And B blocks that shit. And here goes B spitting again. Float like a butterfly. Stings like a bee. And packs that nigga up. And B was about to end it right there, bro. But Sweet guess who came for the save. And B was still cutting through the sword. After Jugo does a huge attack, here comes Plot Armory coming to save Sasuke. After Sasuke hit the revive, the they decided to actually jump him this time. I don't know why they didn't do that before, but okay. But they actually started giving B the Bro. works. I mean, he was still holding his own, but you know. B escapes, right? And this is his ass. And B was like, damn. All right, whatever. Let's take it to the next level. He uses his chakra cloak. And comes out Sasuke with the Lariat. Sasuke okay, was like, oh, hell no, nigga. Bro. I'm going to die if this man hits me. He uses his Mangekyo Sharingan to put him in a Genjutsu. Oh, yeah, and B falls to the floor. Wait, Everybody sure. sighs. And then out of nowhere, this nigga gets smacked with the Lariat. What's that boy? <laughs> <laughs> he thought he escaped, but nah, B came back for round two. He crushed that nigga's throat. Sasuke was like, <laughs> but you know, Sasuke got you know walking plot armor with them, and they 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 saved them. But B was like, you know what? I'm just gonna end this shit right now, bro. He he transforms into Giyuki. And he 
he's still rapping. Oh my god. So he gets to gets into the water and tried to fight him. But Yuki packed him up with a tail of these bomb. And they turned his bro, what is that? Oh my god, bro. That nigga turned his ass into a slide. At this point, Team Taka was like, hey yo, what the fuck are we gonna do, bro? This nigga about to pack our shit up. While they having their little moment, B is still in the back dying, being a crackhead. Bro. Right as he's about to pack this shit up for real. Here comes right. Sasuke with the Madarasu. Yo, got his ass. Burns his ass. And they're all like, damn, this shit's finally over. But one of the tentacles that was on fire falls on Kari. Oh my god, bro. These niggas cannot stop <laughs> catching L's. So Sasuke had to use his mangekyo again to turn off the fucking flames. And his eyes start bleeding even more. And they take B to go with them. But that wasn't even actually B. No, it was no, a that tentacle was a clone that they got. Hey, yo, so yeah, Killer B made a fucking <laughs> joke of Team Taka. <laughs> to be honest, bro, I'm looking at this shit and I'm four minutes in. And this is the first fight. Oh my god. Bro. I was going to put a whole lot more reverse jumpings in here. But I might have to make a part two, bro. I don't want to make this video. Anywho, the next reverse jumping we're gonna get into is Miriam Leona Bro, disrespecting yo, 5L. Can we talk about Miriam Leona? I ain't gonna lie, she is my, she has to be one of my favorite female anime characters of all time. The way she gave them the work in the elf, in the elf arc, the elf arc, the rebirth of the elf in Flat Clover. Oh, bro, six was it five, six against one? And she gave them those hands? Oh, Alright, so at the beginning of this arc, the elves got reincarnated. And these elves are fucking strong. Especially depending on the first. body they are reincarnated into. If they reincarnate into just a normal mage, that mage is gonna become pretty strong. Strong enough to take a couple other mages by himself. But if they reincarnate into a yeah. captain, now it takes about a whole squad to try and fight this one nigga. And she stood her ground yeah, against five. Raya alone was already a problem. But then four more I... elves showed up, including this broken ass nigga with a uh, paint magic. Now before the fight started, everybody <laughs> was talking trash. Raya was like, damn, you stayed behind to stall some time just so we couldn't get Asta, but we're still gonna get him. And then she responded, <laughs> stall time? Oh, hell nah, nigga. They were just getting in the way. I, I plan on killing way, every huh? single one of you here. The elves are standing there like, is this lady right in the head? Like, what the, what the fuck is wrong with you? And then she says, five against one. You still needed a handicap? That is wild, bro. She's facing five of the strongest niggas around, and she, she's just telling them they need more of a handicap, bro. Now, the fight started, and the big bitch gave everybody wings for some reason. She has wing magic. Like, like that just sounds so stupid, but okay. I guess it makes everybody fast. The nigga with paint magic makes a giant hand to punch her. And as she's about to go and block it, Raya uses teleportation magic to catch her ass off guard. And she gets hit. And that's when she starts thinking, hey, bro, I should have been able to dodge that. What the hell's going on? That's when one of the elves start talking, and she's like, yeah, bitch, I I'm using snow magic. Magic to like dull calm. your senses, which calm, Loki like, sounds stupid. I don't know how snow enough. magic is gonna you dull, dull your senses, enough. but okay. As the fight went on, one of them actually ended up catching her and trapping her in his magic. And then they all stood there like, yup, it's finally over. Okay, <laughs> we, we got rid of her. But nah, she breaks out of it. And she was like, you know what? Since you were in the Crimson Lion Squad, I'm going to have to kill you with my own bare hands. And she lunges at that nigga to kill her. As she's approaching, the elf in the dude's body start getting confused. He's like, hey, yo, why is this body getting terrified of her? But right when she's about to murk her, Ria comes out of nowhere and slashes her. And then the wing lady attacks her with another barrage. And here goes this nigga Ria. She's still out here putting in for him. But as soon as he says that, he gets attacked. Now the elves are flabbergasted, like, what the, how did that not kill her? And she keeps going. She's like, hey, bro, I thought y'all was here to kill humans. It I'm seems like you guys missed one. Right he powers there, up even more. At this point, the elves are just confused. Like, bro, why is this the human not dying, first of all? And she keeps talking trash. So they keep fighting, and she's getting bodied, not gonna lie, bro. The elves were piecing her up. And after one last smack from the giant hand, right, they're like, okay, this shit's finally over. But nah, nigga, she's still getting up. And Raya's like, oh, ain't no way, bro. What, how, how are you still getting up after we just beat your ass like that? But she responds with this. Oh, she really said she's not gonna die until she kills every single one of them. But Raya was like, look, bro, just stop, dude. This is over. And then she goes, oh, yeah, it's over, all right. After I use my strongest attack, all of you niggas gonna die. And she opens up her monozone and unleashes this devastating ass attack. Afterwards, the elves were flabbergasted. They're like, bro, there's no fucking way, bro. One of them even used her magic to try and defend them, but they still got smacked by it. I mean, they were still alive. Yo, she didn't. She didn't win the fight fully, but you gotta give it to her. 5D1, the one of the strongest people being reincarnated as an elf, and she handled them all of them, bro. One person, yo, she might have lost the battle, but she won the war. All right, give her that. Give her that. 
I mean, but yeah, <laughs> not in good shape. And even though she was out of mana, she was still standing on her feet. A real ready to fight them. And the elves were really over it at this point, bro. So they decided to combine all their magic together to do yeah, one final attack awesome. and get rid of her for good. But then Asta and Rosa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zoro? Wait, Liz, I don't I don't remember this nigga's name for real. Right, I just checked and his name's Zoro. But yeah, he came and absorbed the attack into a spell that doubles its power. And then he fires it at Asta. Raya's like, hey, yo, did he just fire that shit at his own comrade? But Asta right. smacks that bitch like he was trying out for some Major League you Baseball and doubles its power again. But the elves really didn't know this. But after Zoro tried to absorb the attack again, his spell starts cracking. He's like, damn, I can't hold this much power. And Asta comes again and smacks the fuck out of it, which I think just increased its power. Six and blast that shit at the L. It was definitely over after they got smacked by that shit. After that, them niggas took Nero Leona and ran away. Because they were not staying to find out if that shit actually worked or not. There are a lot of anime women that I like, but hey, Nero Leona's in the top 10 easy. Now, before I get to Maru disrespecting the Shinobi Alliance and the Kage, I have a bonus reverse jumping from a little show known as Fairy Tale. Now, this was not Suengajiu versus the Twin Dragon, Sting and Rose. Now, keep in mind that this was supposed to be a 2 on 2. Now, before the fight started, bro, them niggas was talking. Mad trash! <laughs> Listen here, you nigglets. First of all, <laughs> you guys are just first generation dragons. We are third generation. We're better. We was trained by dragons, and we got dragon lacrimas inside of us. You niggas got nothing on us. After the first okay. round of fighting, Natsu and Gajio kind of beat their ass. Natsu was like, hey, bro, did you guys actually defeat y'all Yo, dragons? You kind of trash. And here goes Sting. Defeat? <laughs> I killed that nigga with my bare hand. <laughs> and Natsu was like, hey, bro, was it that, like, <laughs> your parents, though? Nigga, that's none of your business. Now they get back to fighting, and the, the twin dragons were getting pieced up. After all that fucking trash talking, they were getting their ass beat. I'm not going to go too in-depth with the fight. I'm going to do that when I talk about the failed trash talking video. But the fight kept going back and forth. You know, at one point, Natsu and Gajio are beating their ass. Next thing you know, the twin dragons go into their dragon drive and start beating Natsu's ass. And then Natsu and Gajio goes Beat back to beating ass. their ass in their dragon drive, so they, they go even back stronger. Back. Now they release their dragon force. Everybody that knows what dragon force is is shocked that they're able to yeah, do it by themselves. And then them niggas started toying with Gajio and Natsu and beating their ass. But as they were fighting, the fighting was so strong, it destroyed the fucking arena and they fell through the ground. But the fight continued and Sting and Rogue was just beating their ass until they were on the floor and everybody was worried about it. They even thought them Niggas was dead. But nah, Natsu gets up and starts talking. And he's like, hey, bro, I done learned everything I can about you niggas now. I know how your attack goes, when you defend, and even shit. what position your foot faces when you're about to attack. And he's like, it's around 11 o'clock. But Gajil's like, nah, nigga, it's 10. And they start arguing. In the middle of arguing, Natsu pushes this nigga into a rail car and make it go off. Now, Disappear. mind you, Dragon Slayers have terrible motion sickness, so Gajio's not getting out of this anytime soon. No. And then he turns around and is like, all right, bro, I, I gotta pay you niggas own, back. Y'all was looking down on me? Come now on, I'm gonna yo. style on you niggas. Come. Come on, dog, bro. That part right there, I love it, yo. I love it. Natsu is insane, yo. That that fight, bro, he beat the shit out of him. He beat the shit out of Bring him. Bring it on. And he actually starts beating yeah. their ass. This beating was a two on two, ass. And Natsu turned it into a reverse jumping. This nigga Natsu was giving them the ones back to back, and they could <laughs> do nothing, even though they were in their dragon, dragon force. Bro, he was beating them beat. so bad that their cats was crying. Oh my god, bro, what kind of <laughs> savage do you have to be to do that? But as the fight Show goes the on, Sting and Rogue were like, okay, you know what? Oh, we're yeah, just gonna yeah, use yeah. our strongest attack and finish you off. And they started using their unison. Yeah, now, cool they're using is. this unison rate, bro, the, the announcers, they're hyping that shit up, bro. They're like, oh man, this is the strongest attack you could possibly attain yeah, as a fucking yeah, mage. Yeah, yeah, they were talking shit about it. It's what you might call fusion match. The strong attack you can ever do, apparently. <laughs> Yo. They I'm really ready for the monitor though your now. Life and never master this. But then they launched that bitch at Natsu. And Natsu with a single attack overpowered Blew that fucking shit away. Ray. So yeah. Blew that shit Natsu's away. kind of a menace. But now that we're done with this little detour. Okay. We finally go to Madara. Disrespecting the, the Shinobi Alliance. And the, the five cocky in reverse jumping. Madara stands there, look the at about 3,000 niggas ready to piece him up. <laughs> and he jumps down and started running towards them. No Yo, hesitation whatsoever. Mad. This man gets into the crowd and people start bro, flying. 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 Like flying. And he's doing all this with just taijutsu. Like, bro, could you imagine how strong of a human you have to be to punch bro. somebody like in Yo, the air I'm, that bro. high? And back to back with multiple bro, niggas. Fight, and these niggas' eyes are moving with his Sharingan. And this he's is Loki, my favorite scene in Naruto. Because it truly 
shows what a Sharingan user would be like during a fucking fight like this. It really shows how much they can perceive Bruh. in a matter of seconds. He grabs yeah, he a random sword and starts up. slicing and dicing. In this one, nigga gonna throw a kunai with a bomb attached to oh, it. Yeah, he rips the paper that bomb shit. off, sticks it to a random dude, and throws the kunai right bro. back to the dude. Turn around, kick the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> he really kicked this man to his comrade so he could blow up. Bro, oh God, Madara is something bro. else, bro. Bro, he's sitting there piecing niggas up, and then some random dude tried to come from underground. This nigga bro, jumps, uh, channels uh, his inner Jean Claude mm. Van Damme, and kicks two other random niggas. Yeah, I don't remember that part. on this nigga's head. I don't remember <laughs> it's like that. every single one of this nigga's actions are just calculated. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, you have the time to do that. But bro, he's fighting, and then he just grabs this random nigga and starts strangling him with one hand. And he's like, damn, nigga, you wanna dance too? Let that out! <laughs> and then here comes Tamari with her big ass fan. And then she says this. Do not underestimate me. <laughs> bro, damn it. Nigga, Madara don't even know you exist. The fuck are you talking about underestimate, bro? Madara uses Man. one fire style, and it is the biggest out of the whole series we've ever seen. It takes like seven niggas using water style to try and stop it. And that barely did anything, cause fireballs was still raining. It was dusty as fuck, but that, that wasn't stopping Madara not one bit. Bro, this nigga's fighting a whole army by himself. Go by him. no key, and no, Naruto bro, does an go. attack, and they thought they had him, but nah. This nigga busts out his suit, no, no. pulls out no. four chakra blades, and started making waves with bodies. Garo manages to pull yeah, this nigga yeah, out bro. of his suit, and Naruto uses yeah. the Rasen Shuriken to try and kill him. But shit, this nigga pulls out his Rinnegan and stops it. And everybody was just flabbergasted, like, ain't no way this nigga got the Rinnegan. Rinnegan. Bro, pulls out his Susano again, and this is when he disrespects, you know, everybody Yo, in the fucking show. He does a hand scene, mm. and everybody who is looking up is like, Yo, we lost this. Who decided it was a good idea to fight? Yeah, bro, you're dead. Look at this dude's face, bro. He's just ready to go yeah, home to his wife and kids. Madara pulls a fucking meteor towards them. But you know, we all know what happens next. Onoki and Gar does stop their it. hardest they and manages stop to it. stop the meteor. And every shinobi in the alliance fell to the floor in relief, like, oh my god. Let's go, we did it. Go back to my wife. And Madara's like, oh hell no, nigga, you're not going back to your wife. What are you gonna do about the second one, Onoki? <laughs> and yeah, it just devastates Yo. the whole shinobi alliance. After they that. All good. five Kage decided to show up. So now it's like, hey, bro, I need to heal these two. Can you guys buy me some time? Mai starts spitting her nasty ass mucus, and the third Raikage was just going dummy with his lightning stop. It was One surprising hand. how fast this nigga Madara was. After hitting Madara, Gara uses a Grand Sand Mausoleum to try and, you know, seal his yeah. Susanoo. But yeah, he yeah, yeah. out of that shit. After that, too Mai easy, uses some steam easy. to try and cover the battlefield. Which makes no sense to me, Stupid. since this nigga has a Rinnegan, <laughs> bro. He can see. As the mist spread, what a tongue twister. The Raikage yeah. teleports to move and sends this nigga flying. <laughs> Damn. Yo, not the team Rocky, bro. <laughs> but after that, he goes to Madara, since Anoki's on his back, making him heavier and lighter whenever he needs. And punches this nigga Susano. And Madara's flabbergasted, because, yo, this nigga's breaking my Susano. After buying themselves a couple of seconds, so now they went to give the Naruto clone a little pep talk and a message to take back to Naruto. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh, they said they were winning that <laughs> shit, yo, win, Madara bro. was stupid But the fight continues, afterwards. since, you know, they got their little morale boost. But it didn't matter what win. they do, bro, Madara was just too strong. And then he uses a wood style attack. And Tsunade is like, hey, wait a minute, it's not my grandpa's attack? While she's telling everybody not to inhale the fucking pollen from the flowers, this motherfucker pulls up out of nowhere with his Susano again. Bro, how does he keep doing that? That thing is huge and loud. But yeah, he's like, hey, bro, don't get too distracted by the flowers, because I'm about to whoop y'all ass. And then yeah, he uses that. a fire style to burn the wood. And since one, it's hot as fuck, and two, there's a plant giving the pollen to make them fall asleep. They all fell unconscious, except for a Noki. This old man's getting up still. And uses his particle style to cut a fucking hole in the plant, which oh, allowed them to breathe again. Yeah, After waking up, bro, now. Madara shows them what's on his chest. And it's Hashirama's face. And everybody's flabbergasted, like, ain't no way, bro. That's the first Hokage. How is that face on his chest? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah nigga, y'all can feel you. it, right? <laughs> I know you can feel it, Tsunade, bro. His blood runs through your veins. I have Hashirama's yeah, power running through, through me. And through this whole that's your grand fight, bro, this nigga Madara me. just keeps glazing Hashirama. Every single chance he gets, man, y'all niggas can't do better than Hashirama. Man, Hashirama's attack would have hurt me a whole lot more than your bullshit. Like, damn, bro, get all of his back. Yo, man, he's like, you like about how your jutsus are back. garbage. Your jutsus don't even compare to Hashirama's. You're just a weak woman. Hey, look, Madara, I know you're a savage and all, but, you know, in 2023, you can't, you can't be saying stuff like that, bro, you know? People are sensitive nowadays. You, you can't be going around calling women weak, bro. But Tsunade was like, all right, nigga, I'll, I'll show you who's a weak woman. I'm about to beat your ass. And releases her seal of 100 healings. And Madara's like, 100 healings? Nigga, 
What? Never heard of that shit. But then Tsunade mm. launches an attack at him and starts cracking his Susano ribcage. But all this nigga's thinking is how much slower she is than the Raikage. But after that, he jumps up to do a fire style attack. And then they started jumping that nigga. And they actually there broke the Susano yeah, ribcage jump, somehow. Jump after he falls ass. to the jump ground, he's like, ass. you know what, Tsunade? You're not a weak woman. And then this nigga starts glazing Hashirama again. Bro, look how oh they leave. Oh my lead. God, bro, we know. <laughs> he was strong. Shut up and get to fighting, bro. You're getting jumped right now. So now bro, they got tired of this it. nigga glazing her grandpa. So she punches the shit out of him and removes half of his body. And Dang, while he's I, in I mid -air, right? That. Gara uses a Grand Sand Mausoleum again to seal him. And they're all like, oh my god, we finally got this we did. But not two seconds after they say that, Tsunade gets stabbed through the ground. And everybody's looking like, hey, yo, what the fuck? I thought we just sealed this nigga. But he pops up out of the ground like, wow, congratulations, you sealed the fucking clone. Now, could you Damn, see that was the clone. This whole time they were fighting, they were fighting, you know, as hard as they could, right? Trying their best against a clone. After getting stabbed, Tsunade breaks the fucking chakra blade that's inside of her, grabs it, and tries to attack Madara with it. But Madara grabs that shit and smacks the fuck out of her. And then Jordan. even Madara got surprised when he saw her get back up. And then Noki tries to seal him with his particle style. But Madara's like, hey, hey, stupid. You do know that you have to hit me with physical attacks to even be able to hurt me, right? Yo, so why bro. are you trying something yeah, the so gun, yeah, the gun. With his gun. And then he was like, you know what, bro? I just wanted to scare you guys with Hashirama's face. But it seems like that didn't work. And then Tsunade says this. Oh, and then Mai shit. was like, hey, bro, don't go, don't go calling us shit. cowards because there's five of us. You know, that that just, that's just complimenting how strong you are. Like, seriously. And Madara yeah. was like, oh, really? Pulls out 25 wood clones, right? Yeah. And it's like, hey, bro, don't start calling me a coward either. Yeah, this is just a testament to your power. Yeah. You guys are the five Kage. And then he pulls out his inner fleece, Johnson, and says this. I have one question for you. Would you prefer for all of these clones to use Susano against you or not? Bro, that motherfucker is an asshole. Is this nigga serious? <laughs> the choice is yours. Bro, oh, all of them use the suits. Do you want the clones to use Susano or not? At that moment, they <laughs> the knew choice they fucked up. Is yours. <laughs> <laughs> Madara is arguably the most mm, disrespectful demon. anime character, dog. Nah. This is the definition of a reverse jumping. I would say, yo, the <laughs> Five most disrespectful. Five of them try to jump though, one of him. Hold up, so hold up, hold up. I would have to say this, though. The most disrespectful exactly. had to go to either freaking Yajuru Hama, Kid Boo, or Lord Aizen. I will put Dio in there. I'm not going to put Dio bitch ass in there. I would probably say Lord Lord Eisen. Now do you your home mess with Baki Mom and doing all the disrespect? Yo, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. Morrow's up there though. Morrow's up there. <laughs> Yeah, bro, this nigga is something else, bro. The Kage went mad as fuck. And then Madara was like, okay, bro, you guys didn't answer, so I'm gonna have to bro, answer this for you. Smack him. Made the clothes smack him like flies. <laughs> Had a choice. But they had like, no choice. So he didn't stop chance. there. After the five Kage defeated all his clones in their Susano, they went after him and tried to finally seal him. But he was like, nah. And releases a full body Susano. And everybody was flabbergasted. Yeah, it you're was right. like, hey, yo. Is this yeah, the you full never had of no hope. There was no hope at all. <laughs> but Madara was like, oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm about God. to show y'all what it actually looks like for real. Then he covers his Susano in armor and summons the full Bruh. thing with its blades in all. Everybody was already shocked as fuck, right? But then he swings his sword and destroys two mountain ranges with just one swing. And the Kage was just there like, Damn. Yeah, you give up, Ashi bro. Roma was able to fight give this up. nigga and win. Like, bro, after he dropped those meteors, I would have been out of there, bro. I would have <laughs> hey, stopped yo, the fight immediately. I'd have been but gone. Damn, they let it get to shit gone. like this. But then Onoki was like, hey, bro, you had this much power left, but why were you hiding it from the beginning? But Madara was like, hey, bro, what adult would go full force when fighting a bunch of children? Kid. Oh, God, yeah. bro, he if I was one of the kid. Kage, bro, I would have just left. Because, wow, he called them children. And honestly, I could continue on with this fight, but, bro, I'm going to stop here. This video is already 20 minutes. It's long, bro. I was looking gonna put the killer B rap at the end of this video, but you should have. Either way, I appreciate yo, yo. you guys' support, and I will definitely make a part two. Hey, yo, this video deserves a fucking like. This video deserves a like, easily. But yeah.
Leave a like, subscribe. Yo, and like, I'll see you guys subscribe. In the next video. Like, <laughs> and, bro, like and subscribe, bro. Yo, yeah. I think I'm uh Hey yo, he made an AMV of the song. Yo, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to react to that. I might I'm not even react. I might just download that on my phone, bro, you know, because uh I don't think I like that song, you know, but hey, hey, yo, that, that was a great video. I enjoyed every bit of it, yo. Kudos to him. Shout out to JP Talk To Us. I'm going to have his link in the description of the video. But make sure you like and subscribe on his video. He deserves it. He deserves it, yo. Right? If you want to throw something out my way, you can. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.